In this video we will see how to create a form in Google Sheets. A personalized menu in the worksheet allows you to choose between three display modes of this form. The first is a sidebar. The second is a modal dialog. And the third is a modeless dialog. The user enters the data, then by clicking on the submit button, the data is transmitted to Google Sheet. To get started, create a new Google Sheet. Then, open the script editor from Tools. Now, create a new HTML file in the script editor and name it Form. Open Materialize CSS to use some element in the HTML code. Click on Get Started. Go to HTML Setup. Then, copy this code. Delete the contents of the form file. Then Ctrl V to paste the new code. Go back to Materialize CSS. Scroll up to find CDN. Once found, copy the CSS which will replace the CSS link in the form file. Likewise, replace the JavaScript link with JavaScript CDN. Now, below the body we are going to define a container element in our HTML page to which we will pass a class equals container attribute. This container is used to center the content of the page. Again, use the Materialize CSS page to copy HTML code to create a form. Click on Forms. Then, click on Text Inputs. Scroll down. We choose this form. Copy the content that is between the Start Form tag and the End Slash Form tag. Then, paste this code into the container. In this container we have created a row. In this row we have two columns of equal width. So the form elements are in the same row. To display the input fields in separate lines, replace S6 with S12. Now we want to add a button to the form. For that add a third line. Remove this. Then, find the button code in Materialize CSS. Click on Components. Then on Buttons. Scroll down to the Submit button. Copy this code. Paste here. We don't need either type or name. Add the script tag at the end of the document just before slash body. It is inside the script element that we will add JavaScript code later. All that remains is to save this HTML file. Now, we want to load this HTML page into Google Sheet. To do this, go to Code.js. Rename this function. First create an HTML template object from the HTML file. Here write the name of the file to use. In our case it is form. Then call its evaluate method to run the scriptlets and convert the model to an HTML output object that the script can serve to the user. To access the spreadsheet, use spreadsheet app. Then, Call the getUI method which returns an instance of the spreadsheet's user interface environment that allows the script to add features like menus, dialogues, and sidebars. We start by creating a sidebar. User interface is an HTML output representing the interface to display. Save. Then run the function. Authorize the request. Here is a sidebar that displays on the right side of the editor. 
Let's change the title of the form. Use the set title method. Save and run. Here is the new title of the form. Now let's try other displays. The show modeless dialog method opens a modeless dialog box in the user's editor. The modeless dialog allows the user to interact with the editor behind the dialog. Also try the show modal dialog method which displays the form in a modal dialog box in the user's editor. The modal dialog prevents the user from interacting with anything other than the dialog. Now create a custom menu, My Menu. To display the menu when the user opens a file, write the menu code within an unopened function. The menu has three elements, the first is sidebar form. The second is modal dialog form. The third is dialog form without mode. Each menu item is linked to a function. Let's start by creating the first show inside bar form function. First, make a copy of the code for the shell form function. Then change the name of the function. Finally, keep only the show sidebar method. For the other two functions, Proceed in the same way. In the two methods show modal dialog and show modeless dialog, the title of the dialog overrides any title set by calling set title on the user interface object. Save. Refresh web page. The menu is added to the document. Now let's add the code needed to extract the values entered by user in the text boxes and add the data to Google Sheet. First, add a header. Then, open the HTML file. Change the ID of the name input field to name. In for, give the same name. You can customize this label. Likewise, change the ID of the phone number entry field to tell. Enter the same name in for. Change the type to text. Add an ID for the button and name it BTN. Now, we will use the IDs to retrieve the elements of the document. For that, use the document method getElementById. This parameter is the ID of the element to locate. The ID is a case-sensitive string that is unique within the document. The name and phone values are assigned to the name box and tell box variables. Now attach a click event to the submit button. When the user clicks the button, the name and phone number are transmitted to Google Sheet. First, get the submit button using its ID. Then, attach a click event to this button using the add event listener method. Add record is the function we want to call when the event occurs. For the code of this function, start by creating a data object which will contain the values of the input texts. Next, call the app and data function with the data object parameter. It is a server-side function. 
Google Script Run is an asynchronous client-side JavaScript API that allows HTML service pages to call server-side apps script functions. Save. Now let's go to CodeGS to create the app and data function. First, use the spreadsheet app class to get a reference to the sheet. Get sheet by name allows you to return a sheet with a given name. Rename the sheet. Then, use the append row method to add a row to the spreadsheet. Save. Let's test this code. What we want now is to empty the input fields once the registration is done. In the HTML file, after executing the app and data function, we assign an empty string to name box value. And we do the same for tell box value. Save. We can also check if the fields are empty. If so, then a message is displayed to indicate to the user that the inputs must be completed. The code should be appended to the HTML file. In the addRecord function, create the name and phone variables to obtain the values of the input texts. Then add a condition. If the length of the string retrieved in the name variable equals zero, or the length of the string retrieved in the phone variable equals zero, then the user is informed via an alert that he must fill in all the text fields. Go to Materialize CSS again to find the code for this alert. Click on JavaScript. Then, Toasts. Copy the code of the mToast function. Paste here, and customize the message. Save. Let's run this code. The alert has been added successfully. Now, we are going to fill in the name field and put spaces in the phone field. The program adds this record to the worksheet because the length of the string formed by spaces is greater than zero. To correct this, add the trim method, just after each name of a variable in the condition. This method removes spaces from both sides of a string. So a string formed only by spaces, will have a length equal to zero. So the registration is not done in the Google Sheet and the user is alerted.